My name is Jim Estes, and today I'm going to talk about a drill that I think is extremely important for the swing plane. So what I want you to do is, and this, by the way, is going to give you an instant understanding of exactly the feeling you want to have in the golf swing. Take a club. You can put a rod, alignment rod, in the grip, or I'm sorry, in the butt end of the golf club. Take the golf club, turn it like you're going to hold it, and then what I want you to do is take that club, put it right against your left hip, so you're holding both clubs here. Now you've got an alignment rod on the ground and a golf ball. And what I want you to do, getting into your good posture position, your weight over the arches, getting feel balanced. The insides of the heels are going to be about the width of your hips. Take a swing back, slow motion, and trace with that alignment rod the target line all the way up. The shaft should be parallel to your target line at the top and then slowly coming down, trace the line and do this in slow motion. Right into the impact position. So this is a great feedback tool, visual feedback tool for learning the proper swing plane. Go right to your impact position. I encourage you to do this drill in slow motion. And if you have five minutes a day, if you do this drill every day, I guarantee you're going to improve your golf swing. So again, I think you'll find this to be extremely helpful. JimEstesGolf.com if you have any questions. So the only thing we really, uh, your, your motion is really good. You got a nice tempo. Nice swing, really. Really good swing. Stance is a little bit narrow. Hands are a little further away from yeah. our head there. And my left arm there is still a little too fast, I guess. Yeah, I mean, if you push your right hand out a little closer, that's not yours. No. That's hilarious. So that would be one thing, just a little wider base. Yeah. You may not have the immediacy that it may not be easy to do, but it would be helpful if you got your arms a little further, your hands yeah. a little farther away from your body. But you got a good move coming into the ball. I mean, you make a nice lateral movement, you make a nice lower body shift. Impact's pretty good. Yeah, I, I think that just a little wider base with the driver. I like for your arms to stay connected. The upper arms yeah. stay right on your chest the whole yeah. time. Yeah. And the idea would move the chest and the arms together, together so they yeah. work together. Yeah, my um, I mean when I get tired and my wrists start going. Yeah. Crazy. Yep. I got a really any sport I've ever played, tennis, baseball, always a really risky swing, which does not help me at golf. Amazing how I just stopped though. I follow through. Yeah, that'll cause some. Uh, sometimes, if you stop your body, the the club face rotates too yeah. quickly. Yeah. You just want to keep turning through. Yeah. Yeah. So just yeah, a little wider base, a little more extension in the arms, and then get a sensation for impact. You want that lead arm and the shaft to be in a straight line. Yeah. Your left leg is sort of a little bit bent. Hers is straight. Yeah. But she almost like pulls up as she goes through the swing, like her knee straightens almost. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Yeah. The left hip gets gets higher. Yeah. Uh huh. 